What's up everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to review the narrative theme on the Shopify theme store. This is a free theme and it's very easy to use and very easy to customize. Overall, we're going to review this theme by looking at several factors, looking at the speed, different customizations through the home page, the product page, the footer, the mobile view, menu editing, as well as cart page editing. When trying to decide on a theme for your Shopify store, there are so many options out there. There are paid themes, there are free themes, there are themes available on the Shopify theme store, there are themes not available on the Shopify theme store, on other sites such as ThemeForce. And there's so many options that it makes it really hard to decide what to choose. And each theme has so many different customizations that you're never really sure if it's going to be good until you try it out. That's why here in Shopify Masterclass, we're going to review these themes so you get an idea of what it's like before you buy or before you download it, just to see if it's going to be a good fit with your brand and save you time overall. Before we dive into it, I just want to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover Profit Calc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. In front of me here, I have the narrative theme. This is the Shopify theme store page. It's going to give you an overview of what it looks like. And just before we go into the different categories, I want to go into the demo of the narrative theme just to give you an idea of who the Shopify theme is for. So moving here, there are several options, earthy, warm, and light. Right now I have the light open and the earthy open. So to start, I'm just going to go into the light theme here, and this is the home page. This product here is a belt in the demo. And as you can see overall, this theme is meant for Shopify stores that sell only a few products, products that are visually appealing, and products that only have a few variants. As you can see with this homepage, it's very geared toward showing the same thing multiple times. In this case, it's the belt. It's describing the tagline. It's describing who it's for. It's showing good images of the product and how it's used and how it stands out. This echoes through the earthy theme as well. So this product is a coffee maker and it shows you different images, it has different videos, and it's not meant for displaying a wide range of products. So if you were a larger site selling hundreds and hundreds of SKUs, this site wouldn't be a good fit as it's not as easy to display all those options. Rather, it's really good at emphasizing a certain product. Let's move on to the homepage customization. So I have a basic Shopify store set up here and I'm in the homepage customization. So as you can see on the left, there are a ton of options in this theme on how you want to customize your homepage. They have many different things like a video, a section to talk about your brand, testimonials, custom content, a gift card section, a featured slider, a hero slider. Overall, it gives you a lot of customization on how to display your product. As I said before, it's really meant for a store with not as many products because you can really hammer home exactly what your brand is about and what the product is about. So overall, I give this an excellent recommendation for the homepage customization. As you can go in here and just add so many options in terms of how you want to display your product and your brand. Overall as well, it, the homepage is very aesthetically pleasing, lots of good white space, and the layout is excellent in terms of how all the elements fit together. Moving on to the product page, it has some basic customization for the product page. It can have similar dynamically recommended products at the bottom. You get some customization on showing your variant labels, quantity selector, a dynamic checkout button, social icons. These are pretty standard throughout the Shopify free themes as they only really give basic customization on the products. One feature I did like though on the product page, if I go to the demo here and I click on products and I click on this ratio eight product, there's the ability to have this gallery of variants. So you can show a lot of different images on what the product looks like in terms of what's offered. And it's very clean. It's almost like an Instagram like look where you get the ability to add them in squares. One thing I did find weird on the product page was that in the desktop version, the add to cart button is later on the left where the product description on the right. I find typically it's usually on the right, but in the end, it probably doesn't make a difference in terms of me. That was just a little different as I would expect the add to cart button to be on the right. Another feature that this theme lacks on the product page is the ability to have tabs to maybe describe different aspects of your brand here, such as the contact us page about us and maybe more information on the product. Moving on to footer customization, overall it's quite basic as well. None of the free Shopify themes have too much footer customization, but there are the basic things such as adding your social icons. The footer is also limited in this theme to just two sections of content, so maybe you want to have two menus. That kind of limits you on how much stuff you want to put in the footer. Let's say if you wanted to put more information, it is very limiting there. 
In terms of the mobile view, just like any Shopify theme, it's excellent. It condenses quite well into mobile. It looks very native to it as well. Everything's stacking quite nicely from the desktop version. In terms of menu editing, there are very few options here as you really just get the primary navigation. There's no ability to add a mega menu with images and stuff like that as it's really meant for a smaller collection of products for your Shopify store. There isn't really a need to do that for this theme, but if you have a larger collection of products, this may be not the best theme for that. Moving on to card page customization, there is almost none of that. You get the ability to check card notes and card notes off. There's no ability to add other products to upsell or anything like that. If you were to use this theme and you wanted that functionality, you'd have to look externally to different apps that could give you that ability. Lastly, moving on to the speed of this theme, I have a very basic Shopify store set up with no external apps on it and no large images or product descriptions, but this really gives a good idea of how the theme loads. Overall, it's excellent as almost all free Shopify themes are. There's not a lot of extra files here that are not needed. Overall, the CSS loads fast. There's no extra JavaScript overall. In summary, the speed for this Shopify theme is very good and you're not gonna notice any noticeable slowdowns by using it. So in summary, the narrative theme on the Shopify theme store is excellent overall, especially if you have a smaller collection of products. This could be this could be one product with a few variants or just a few products overall, as it's really geared towards displaying it in a very aesthetically pleasing way and having a lot of different ways to show off your product. Benefits of this theme include really good homepage customization, good speed, and a good product page layout. The cons to this would be there isn't a lot of customization, especially on the cart page or the footer page. And that concludes the video on the narrative Shopify theme review. If you enjoyed this video at all, I'd love if you left a like below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.